Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this short tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to import a layout from one drawing to another and thereby you can save time and effort. So let's get started. You know that AutoCAD gives you two layouts, layout 1 and layout 2. And these layouts are primarily used for printing. Now I'll activate my first layout and you can see a paper appearing and you will get this white screen and you will see your drawing here. I'll erase this drawing and I'll change certain parameters of this layout. So I'll right click on layout 1 and I'll go to page setup manager and I'll go to modify and I'll select the printer which is uh, the PDF printer that is a high quality PDF because I want to plot this particular print to a PDF then I'll choose the paper size I would like to go for a paper size of A2 so I'll choose that then I'll give OK and close so what you see on the screen is an A2 size paper now I'll go to layout tab then I'll click on rectangular then rectangular once again and I'll click the first and the opposite corner of this rectangle. Now you can see the drawing here. I'll just double click to activate this viewport. Now what I'll do is I'll set a scale of 1 is to 10. So this is a 1 is to 10 scaled drawing. I'll rename this layout by right clicking at the layout tab. Then I'll click on rename and I'll call it as A2 presentation because this is going to be my presentation sheet. Next I'll activate the second layout. I'll erase this drawing. Then right click on the layout. I'll go to page setup manager to specify certain parameters and click on modify. I'll choose the printer as Canon G3000 series printer because that is connected to my computer. And I can choose a particular paper size from the list of paper sizes supported by this printer. And I'll choose A4. Next, I'll go to plot style table and I would like to plot this drawing in monochrome and display plot styles means the drawing on the screen will also be displayed as monochrome and I'll give close and this is an A4 size paper. Next, I'll click on rectangular. I'll open a rectangular viewport here. Now you will see everything in monochrome because that's a plot style. I'll just double click to activate this viewport and I'll specify a scale of 1 is to 5 because this is going to be a detailed drawing of this particular area. I'll pan the drawing and I'll concentrate on this particular area. And I'll rename this layout as A4 detailed because this is a detailed drawing. Now I'll save this file as SAB plan. Next, I'll open a new drawing. I'll click on this plus sign at the file tab. And you can see the default layouts given by the software, layout 1 and layout 2. But in this drawing, I would like to import those two layouts which are already created in SAP plan drawing. So how do you do that? For that, you can make use of the design center command. You can type AD center using the keyboard. AD Center stands for AutoCAD Design Center. This Design Center interface consists of a file browser on the left side and you can see the various table areas in the drawing on the right side. Let's see that. I'll click on the desktop and you can choose the file you have created just now that is a SAP plan. I'll double click on the SAP plan and you can see the various table areas in this drawing such as blocks, layers, layouts, etc. I would like to import the layout so just double click on the layout and here you can see the layouts which we have created in that drawing. You can just drag and drop this layout that is A2 presentation as well as A2 detailed into this drawing. Now the two layouts are automatically created. Now just click on A2 presentation. I'll close the design center interface. Now you right click on the layout tab and click on page setup manager. And just click on modify and you will see the printer, the paper size and all the parameters which you have chosen in that layout. 
click on A4 detail layout, right click go to page setup manager and click on modify and you can see the printer, paper size and the plot style which you have chosen in that particular layout. So by using AutoCAD Design Center, you can drag and drop layouts from one drawing to another. Thereby you can save a lot of time and effort. Now I'll click on the model tab to go to model space. I'll right click, go to recent inputs and choose design center command once again. I'll go backwards by clicking on this icon. Now you can see the list of blocks which is presently existing in that particular drawing. And if you want a particular block, all you have to do is just drag drop that block into the current drawing. Suppose if I want this particular table chair icon, just drag drop it and you have got it. I want this particular table chair, you can drag and drop it. So likewise, any blocks can also be taken. And I'll go back. When you look at the layers, we have only two layers here. I'll click on the layers and you can just click on any desired layer and drag drop into the current drawing. For example, I want green spaces layer. And when you drag drop, that particular layer will be automatically created with the given properties such as color, line type, etc. Hence, AutoCAD Design Center interface will let you save a lot of time and effort if you can use it productively. So that's all for now. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and post your valuable comments about this video. Until I catch you in another interesting video with a very useful topic. Bye bye and take care. Thanks for your time. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group Sabircad. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box.